Freshly unsealed documents are shedding new light on the strains between American technology companies and the intelligence community. This is What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Joanne Ann Poe. Long before former NSA contractor Edward Snowden began leaking classified information about the U.S. government's surveillance efforts, there was a secret legal battle between the government and Yahoo. According to newly unsealed legal documents, tensions were so high over the government's requests for customer data in 2008 that the feds threatened to charge Yahoo $250,000 a day if it did not comply. The requests and legal battles at the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court are traditionally secret. Up until last summer, Yahoo and other tech companies were not allowed to say it had challenged government surveillance efforts. The Federal Reserve is creating a financial stability committee. The high-level group led by Fed Vice Chairman Stanley Fisher will play a role monitoring the financial system for emerging problems that could potentially pose a threat to financial stability. The committee's makeup, which includes Fed Governors Daniel Tarullo and Lyle Brainerd, suggests it could be a powerful voice within the central bank on financial stability issues. And Toronto Mayor Rob Ford ends his bid for re-election. Mr. Ford was diagnosed with a tumor earlier this week after being admitted to a hospital complaining of abdominal pains. Mr. Ford's withdrawal from the race is another chapter in the controversial tenure of a combative city lawmaker who was seeking to defy odds and win a second term despite admissions of drug and alcohol use. For more and to follow these stories, stay tuned to WSJ Live or log on to WSJ.com. I'm Joanne Poe.